This is Samsung, and in this video we are looking at 3D vectors. So 3D vectors are written in three different components instead of two, and these are i, j, which we normally have, and then an extra k, which adds its three di third dimension. So the magnitude of a 3D vector um, is equal to root a squared plus b squared plus c squared, so it's Pythagoras' theorem, however there's three components within it. So the first question we have here is point A and B have a position vectors A is equal to 7i plus 2j plus 5k and B is equal to 5i minus 6j plus k respectively. And if you don't understand this notation then look at my vectors video. But C is the midpoint of AD. So first of all we have to work out the position of C. So in order to do this we're going to use the way we find out a midpoint and we're going to first start looking at the i's. So in order to do this, we'll put 7 plus 5 over 2. And then that is our i component. And this is add, and then we'll start looking at the j's. And here we have 2j minus 6j. So 2 minus 6 over 2 and then finally we'll be adding the k's so then we have 5k plus k which is 5 plus 1 over 2 that is k this one here was j so then that is going to be equal once we've done it all together it's going to be equal to 6i minus 2j and then plus 3k so now we can use the answer we have here to work out the distance of c from the origin and onto this we're going to be looking at this Pythagoras' theorem and the a here is 6 so if we do this all root we have 6 squared then the b is going to be the minus 2. Obviously, that's just going to go to 2 because minus squared equals a positive anyway. So we can just write that as 2 squared. And then finally, plus 3 squared. Now, if you type this into your calculator, you will get 7. So it's going to be 7 and it's units. It doesn't specify if it's meters or whatever. So just units. Now the final one is looking at unit vector, and a unit vector is when the magnitude is equal to 1. So then this means that what we're going to do is just divide everything by 7. So that means that we're going to have 6 over 7i minus 2 over 7j. And then plus 3 over 7k. And that is our answer for that. So the next thing to look at in 3D vectors is how we work out angles. And there's three different types of angles that we can work out. So for example, we can work it out when it's with the positive x-axis. And this says that cos alpha is equal to a over the magnitude of r. Then when it's with the positive y-axis, cos beta is equal to b over the magnitude of r. And then with the positive z-axis, cos gamma is equal to c over the magnitude of r. Now that will make more sense when we look at this particular question. So it says vector b is given by 6i minus 3j minus 2k. So work out the angle between the positive x, y and z directions. So we'll start off by working the angle between the positive x direction. And in order to do this, we will be using this one here. And it's very simple when we actually put stuff into it, as what we're going to say is that cos alpha is equal to 6 over 7. Now we know it's 7 
because if we put this into the Pythagoras' theorem, we're going to get 6 squared, so it should be root 6 squared plus 3 squared plus 2 squared. And that is equal to 7. And that's what we were looking at just in the first part of this video. But then we have that, which means that then we're going to do cos minus 1 to the 6 over 7. And in degrees, that is equal to 31 degrees. So that is our answer to the x direction. Next, we'll be looking at the positive y direction, and this will be using this one here. So it's a similar idea, but this time we're going to get cos beta. And it doesn't have to be beta, but uh, using Greek letters here is useful, and it's just the way that you normally see it. But cos beta is equal to minus 3 over 7 as b is equal to minus 3. So shift cos on your calculator, cos minus 1 of minus 3 over 7. And that is equal to 115.4 degrees. And that's the y direction. And then finally, we'll be looking at the z direction. So this is this one here. So cos gamma this time. And then cos gamma is equal to c. So c is minus 2. So it's going to be minus 2 over 7. So cos minus 1 to the minus 2 over 7. is equal to 106.6 degrees and that's in the z direction sometimes you may just be asked for one direction but this is an example of where we can use each of the directions so the final thing to look at in the relation to 3d vectors is the ratio formula and the ratio formula says that if ac to cb is the same ratio as lambda to mu and again those greek alphabet letters can be changed then r is equal to mu times a plus lambda times b over mu plus lambda so this will make more sense when we look at a uh, question and the question says that point a plus b have position vectors a is equal to 9i plus 2j minus 4k and b is equal to 3i plus 5j plus k and then the point c lies on a b and a c to c b has the ratio 7 to 3 so work out the position vector of c and in order to do this we're going to put this back into this formula so we know here that mu is going to be equal to 3 because it's there and that means that we can write here 3 and then this is going to be times by a so a is 9i 2j and minus 4k and we can write it in this form because it's slightly easier when multiplying things together then we know that lambda is equal to 7 and we know that lambda is times by b so b is 3i 5j and 1k that is then all over 10 so then this is going to be equal to 27 6 and minus 12 as that's 3 times everything plus then 7 times 3 is 21 7 times 5 is 35 and 7 times 1 is obviously 7 
Again, this is all over 10. So near the final step, now we just have to add everything up. So this means that we're going to get in one thing 48. Then we're going to get 41. And then we're going to get minus 5. And again, this is all over 10. So we basically have our final answer now. Now we're going to go and put it back into this form here. So first of all, we got 48i divided by 10. So that means that that's going to be 4.8i. Now looking at j, we have 41j divided by 10. So that's going to be plus 4.1j. And then finally, for k, we have minus 5 divided by 10. So therefore, we're going to have minus 0.5k. That is therefore equal to the position vector of c. That is the position vector of c. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully that's helped, and see you soon. Bye.